And uh, that's it? That's it? That's all? That's all he's done? Three minutes and 16 seconds. John 316, Austin 316, AB 316. Good God, what is going on with Antonio Brown? That is how much time we have on this video with Antonio Brown and the time he's had in the 2021 2022 season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is today's video. What's up everybody, this is Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts 425. And today's video is going to be on Antonio Brown's time with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I really don't know what to say because it's still a touchy subject regarding AB and what's going on, whether Tampa Bay forced him to play or if he's lost his ever-loving fucking mind. But I love me some AB. I've been a fan of ABs for a long time. I think he's a generational talent. He's been a generational talent, let me say that. But it seems like ever since AB took that hit from Vontez Perfect a couple years ago, he's never been the same. And I'm a firm believer that if it's CTE, we'll never know until AB passes, which I hope that's not for a long, long time. But if AB's fighting some mental issues, then he needs to get help. So let's just look at the, the good times AB had becoming a Super Bowl champion and also what he did this season. So if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified each and every single time I post a video here on the channel. As well as don't be afraid to go into that comment section and let me know if you have any videos you want me to react to. Hit that like button and also share the video out to help the algorithm and get us out there more. So without any further ado, let's just get right to it. Oh, forgot the sound. Mr. Big Chest. Call God. Watching in this practice, throwing this thing around because he's so much smarter than what he was then. God. Touchdown, Antonio Brown. T.K. was such an asset to this team. I don't understand where things went wrong. Okay, he gets me in. Yes, my area. The crazy thing is Brady wanted him there, and you would think that A.B. would want to do everything to keep his job after what happened in New England and him being out of the league for most of the season of the year ago. Even if he wasn't going to be the number one receiver, let alone number two receiver, he still has number one receiver qualities. He's got all day. I mean, come on, he's it's AB. He's got a touchdown. No pressure on Tom Brady. And wide open was Antonio Brown with his fourth touchdown of the season. Hmm. It is. Brady out to his right. Throws, pass, caught. It's Brown. And Brady on the move delivers a strike for 27. Antonio Brown. They just got hit when Antonio Brown was on Hartsfield. Look at that direction again. And it's Brown. The toe tap and out of bounds in Carolina territory. A first down. Out there to the wideouts. 
Third and seven, sliding catch by Antonio Brown. The hands, man, the hands, are sure. To the 38-yard line. I don't remember being trying to get you off the ball. The Jets, Brady with time. And wide open, except the 25, Antonio Brown down around the 21-yard line of New York. I mean, like he may not be Pittsburgh, AB, with a guy like Antonio up. Brown, and you get him to turn like that, and you can snap it off, and that, that's it? That's it? That's all? That's all he's done? Okay, let's wrap for a minute, y'all. So... Let's 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 look at this, and I'm gonna take my fandom out of it. Let's just look at this from an outsider's perspective. Okay. A B claims he was hurt. B A says he went through everything. We asked him to play. He played, and then he showed out, and then he says that he's no longer a Buccaneer. Something just isn't right about that story. Both sides are at fault. A.B. especially is at fault for how he showed out. But again, every man has to live with every decision that he makes. We are big on accountability here on this channel. So every man has to live with his decisions. But you would think A.B. would have learned his lesson after Pittsburgh, Oakland, and New England. And knowing that he's on his last leg on his fourth team, coming off a Super Bowl, have a chance to win another Super Bowl, and knowing that you're on a one-year deal and you're trying to hold on to your spot, knowing you already have a spot because the guy begged for you to be here, and it being not any guy but the greatest quarterback of all time in Tom Brady, you think you would walk a tight rope. But on the other hand, we don't know what's really going on with A.B. mentally. And we have to take consideration of mental health. And mental health is a big thing. We, we don't play right about mental health here on the channel. But I don't know. If this is the last time we ever see A.B. on a football field, I would like to remember Antonio Brown for the surefire first ballot Hall of Famer that he was going to be with Pittsburgh. I want to remember A.B.'s career for the highlights the dancing, the crisp routes that he ran, that like nobody could stop him. Let's let's not forget Antonio Brown, who at one point was the best receiver in the NFL, bar none. For six years, AB had over 100 catches. That's unheard of. AB was that dude. You can say, oh, he was in Pittsburgh, Ben was throwing the ball, whatever, but receivers do deserve the credit that they deserve because they gotta catch those balls. And quarterbacks gotta give receivers their respect. You know what I'm saying? Without the receivers, the quarterbacks would be nothing. But without the quarterback, the receivers wouldn't be anything. Either. So it's a, it's a dual relationship. I want A.B. to get all the help he needs. I want A.B. to still get in the hall. I hope this doesn't hold anything against him like they did with T.O. and Michael Irvin and a bunch of other you know receivers that have had to wait there. Chris Carter, different guys. I don't want them to hold this against him. They might. Because the field in the, lock, the locker room is an extension of the field, as they say in the Hall of Fame criteria. So let's just hope A.B. gets help. Pray for A.B. Hopefully, he, like I said, he gets the help he needs. And this is going to be a short video. So make sure you guys comment down below if you have any suggestions for me to watch any videos specifically. Um, subscribe to the channel. Let's get these numbers up to 100 right now. We're almost there. We're almost at 50 right now. Let's just keep, keep growing as a channel. And with that being said, keep your head on a swivel. Be safe out here in these streets because the Rona is still out here. Omicron is rolling around, acting crazy. And let's continue to be great on the channel. We out of here. Nigga, why you sign Jamie Foxx? Is this a comedy album? Oh. Didn't you